My husband's all excited about this. He actually asked me to... He, he, he wiped the counter. So, like, this is serious business. Because usually he doesn't do that. So, it's because he's going to make one of our favorite recipes. He's improvising a couple things this time. Uh, we don't have the pink... What is it called? Panko, panko breadcrumbs. Panko breadcrumbs, which are delicious, and we highly recommend them. Uh, he's just got breadcrumbs this time. Uh, we love the panko breadcrumbs, so just so you know, definitely use panko breadcrumbs. And then I don't know what else he's substituted here. Have you substituted anything it's else? Coconut beverage, because we don't have, they don't have canned coconut milk over there right now. Yeah, we, we, the grocery store right near us isn't very... It's um, one of the biggest ones in town, yet they're severely understocked. Yeah. But, well, the biggest one is the Super Center, isn't it? But it's a, it's not... Anyway, um, I don't know why he buys, I guess it, we, we make good use of this stuff. I don't, I hope there's nothing bad in it. What's in it? Garlics and soy oil. Citric acid. Oh, there's a preservative in it. Well, it's garlic. Well, it looks good. Keeps it in the fridge. It's good stuff. Like, it's been great when he mixes it with uh, vegan margarine and we have it, like, on, on bread and toast. So anyway, what he's making is a recipe we've had several times, and we're going to show you it again. It's one of those old globally local recipes back when they used to uh, have meal kits, and we've kept the papers, and uh, he makes a variety of these foods every now and then. This is one of the baked in dish. See the pinko crust on top? The breadcrumbs won't be that different. This is delicious, though. I think, see, we've got less than what, like, we don't have two sweet potatoes, but... 300 Gs. Oh, I noticed he's skipping the kale again. He's not a big fan of kale, although I loved it juiced. Oh, my gosh. But he's going to have add more spinach to make up for it because he loves me. Right? He's not in his head, yeah. Um, the bullying cube is vegetable. Uh, no milk added to it because... He's great. I'm sorry I sound weird. I got a cold. Um, but this is awesome. Well, this gives you a potassium, vitamin C, and vitamin B6. Also high in beta carotene. Yeah. Anyway, this is one of the most delicious dishes we've had. It uh, tastes like, um, I, I won't say it tastes like mac and cheese because it's better than that. And um, this is still a miracle uh, food for us. It, this uh, yeast flakes, eh? Yep. Traditional yeast flakes. Look at it. Look at how. Look at it. it's. We go through it like my husband doesn't buy Parmesan cheese, you know, except for the the cruelty to animals he does outside the house. He he, he shrugs. I'm a Pokemon trainer. What can I do? No, I mean like buying what he does outside the house. But at home, he there's no he doesn't do that. He likes he likes that stuff. I wish it had a better name than nutritional yeast. Like, what is the name people call it? Like, I'm gonna have some flakes. That sounds dangerous. So what? Super flakes. Super flakes. Oh. it's it's cheesy anyway. It's it's a really good thing. It's cheesy and nutty. Oh, um, we didn't do this recipe the other day. Um, I mean, I didn't record it or share it. But what what husband made the other day was the um what is it called eggs eggs tricotta eggs tricotta eggs what was it called again it's like some sort of that's why I miss about that look how they make the recipes really uh, anyway um. Uh, it, it was a tofu recipe, and guys, I know I raved about the tofu chicken, chick un, but this, uh, tell us about the egg thing. Tell us, dear. Tell us a story about the egg, tofu egg uh, in the oven. Tell us the tips about it. Well, I think the uh, artichoke heart helps. Okay, but tell us about it in the oven and all that stuff, in the pan and whatnot. Well, just 
bakes in the oven for like 25 minutes. Yeah, but how did you do the tofu? How did you magically transform? You break the tofu up like, like flat. You're basically using your fingers. I, you have to read the recipe. I can't explain it. Well, you made it. It, it, it's, it was, okay. So basically, he transformed a block of tofu into um, a thing that was much like, that it tasted exactly like egg, except not as yucky. Um, it tasted very delicious, and did, uh, it, okay, did, what, what was it again? It was like, um, so he breaks up the... Tofu, artichoke heart, uh, nutritional yeast, and a bunch of other spices. Yeah. And he, he broke up the tofu, crumbled it in a way, because it, it starts as a block, you know, and you drain it. And, and this stuff, it. black salt. This is like, and he says this is the key to that taste like egg. S sulfur. It's sulfur. got sulfur in it. Yeah. That's what makes it uh, egg-like. Because, egg you know, eggs are sulfur-like. Um, well, anyway... It freaking tastes amazing, and we he used the Daya vegan cheese, which hasn't worked for him in the past when he tried it when he had it on a frozen pizza that was pre-made. So he had his doubts, but he tried it for this thing and melted in the oven in the bake. It was baked in a pan, right? Mm -hmm. The egg, yeah, and uh, the tofu, the uh, you know. Uh, it tastes amazing. I'm just telling you, it's freaking amazing. Very amazing. So, I'm a fan. So, just saying, for those who, like, just because you're vegan, you don't have to have tofu. Like, this meal doesn't have tofu. I'm not having tofu tonight. Um, Tofu's got a stigma. People are afraid of it. Yeah, it's true. People are afraid of tofu. And I'll admit, I was too. I was afraid of tofu. I was afraid of tofu too. Um, it's intimidating if you don't know to use it in different ways or you don't know how to flavor it. It's kind of intimidating because it doesn't... I don't know. It's got a stigma. You're right. But if you use... Check out some recipes and... Try it out and you'll be surprised because basically we've had it taste like egg, we've had it taste like chicken, we've had it taste like, well, well just yummy in a stir fry. It's like, it's the flavors you put into the stir fry that make it taste whatever. Yeah. Anyway, we're getting braver, but I'm not brave enough to try it in dessert form. Husband's more ready for something like that than I am. Which is weird, because I'm the vegan here, but... Hmm. But anyway, you don't have to have tofu to be a freaking vegan. But I think that if we hadn't tried tofu, that we'd be for the worse, because it's been really interesting. It's been good for us to try it in different meals, right? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Chai is interested in what he's doing. Chai's a Bombay, that's what she does. They're known for being very involved with the family business. Oh. <laughs> she wants to be in everything. I'll have a bookstore one day and she can, like, <coughs> organize the books. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. She's like, I'm busy here. I'm busy. Um, so I'm going to back away because he's doing, like, the actual cooking stuff part. And this is where I get scared. Uh, but cats. Look, this cat cat here. This is Smudge. She's not interested in the cooking. And uh, Vincent's over there. He's over there. Not focused. But, oh, there he is. And Pico's on the bed because um, it's hard. Oh, he's awake. It's hard being a cat. It is so always like, turn off the light. And today... We threw out a bag of gar of garbage stuff, right? Yeah. So we did good today. We threw out, discarded some stuff. So just trying to get rid of some things. Got a lot to do in my room. Like I'm not gonna throw out books. I'm gonna donate them, but there's other stuff to do. Um, I'm sick with a uh, earache. 
slash down the side of my face and my mouth certain thing but oh look at that onion look at him cutting if he's doing it all wrong don't give him heck just be supportive that he's trying to a blender anyway it's not going to make a difference don't skimp on the spinach for me, okay? I love it in that. Oh, she wants to jump up and... No, you do not want to eat onion. No, try. Is there a piece on the floor? Probably. There's something. Yeah, there's stuff on the floor. Um, I gotta get it over. Yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> onion is toxic to cats. So, yeah, no chai. <laughs> Smudge! You're like me. You just staying out of it. Yeah, staying out of it. Look at her. Look how pretty she is. Isn't she pretty? She knows it too. Don't you? Yeah? Yeah, pretty kitty. Pretty kitty. Oh. Pretty kitty. Okay, guys. Well, I've rambled enough. Okay, bye. We'll, we'll check in on him later. Oh, one thing. I did to my stickers. I, I ordered stickers and I did badly with them. Poorly with them. This was the the cliche, not all who wander are lost. It's actually from Lord of the Rings. I actually have read Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and all that. And uh, now all the, gl the glitter is not gold kind of thing. You know how uh, hashtag blah 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 it is to have that quote. But I liked it just saying wander. So I took everything else off. And then inside I have two stickers. One says focus. Excuse my sniffle, and the other one is just like a cat, like a colorful cat on the other side of the map. <laughs> so it's like, focus, oh look, a cat. It's kind of my own joke to myself. Okay, well, I've got schoolwork to do, or to pretend that I'm going to do. i going to tell you guys I'm going to do something productive, even though I'm not, so that I'll sound productive. Okay, bye. Oh my goodness, this isn't recording. It's recording now. This is what it looked like. I'll show you guys. See? It looked like this. I sound like this because this is my third try doing this. Now he's putting it into the casserole dish. It'll go in the oven at 400 for how long? 20 minutes, give or take. 20 minutes. He's got to add the breadcrumbs. Bread yeah. Panko crumbs are what you usually use. Panko breadcrumbs. Which are deliciously yummy. Oh my gosh, but I'm sure breadcrumbs will be good too. And so this is what you do. And I know it just looks like pasta with spinach, but it's going to taste like amazing. We could eat it now, but I want to bake it first. Yeah, it's you could eat it now if you really want to, but we don't want to because it's even more amazing when you bake it. So let's see you do the breadcrumbs. The folks at home are getting anxious. Folks at home don't even. I don't even know if anybody will watch this. I really like the panko breadcrumbs. Why did they didn't have them at the store, or did you just feel like getting breadcrumbs, or I'm just curious. The folk. I I'm asking for a friend. They didn't have panko breadcrumbs, so. He's just adding. Look at him. Look at him all cooking and stuff. And he hates it when I... Well, he doesn't hate it, but I mean, I have told him that I love this far more than I ever loved his mac and cheese that he made. He used to make a homemade mac and cheese. You know, dairy and tons of... Shitloads of cheese. Excuse my language. Tons of cheese. Tons of cheese. It's Bleeps. the best stuff in the world. But... Uh, it, it, this is like way better seriously and I'm not saying it because oh I'm vegan and I'm going to say this is better no no I'm just telling you I didn't like it as much He's he cooks amazing things now and now that I, I'm spoiled like I'm spoiled by that oh that dish is going to drive me crazy we gotta, we got to rinse that green bowl so I'm going to go okay, this is apparently a very important part I'm ready is it actually recording this time? Yes. Are you sure? No. Stop 
book and then look. See, it looks like cheese, doesn't it? But it's not. But it tastes like it. But it's not cheese. I like the plain code better than the normal breadcrumbs. What's the di why is it so different? It's panko. P-A-N-K-O. Panko. How come I... But the panko is basically the... Um, it's fried. It's kind of like what you get the... The uh, oh. coating you get on when you go to a sushi place and you get the... Oh, yeah. Mmm, sushi. Same stuff. Kind of. Sushi. I think. I could be completely wrong. Well, well this isn't an educational what are we talking about? Channel, this so is me. I'm matter. never wrong. So this is food, guys. My ear hurts. Okay, bye. Okay, it's a final test. Will it bowl? It'll bowl, folks. It'll bowl. He let it set for a bit. Now I'm gonna Instagram it because Instagram or it didn't happen. Thanks for following along in my exciting journey. I am so tired. I don't feel well. My ear hurts. This looks good though. Thank you guys. If this is my last meal, at least you know what it was. Dairy free.